And unfortunately for Bondi, he wasn't able to be released back to the wild, being in our care for such a long time. In saying that, he's doing really well for himself here. He's been with us for around 10 years, and last year he even signed his first puppy, and she's in our lower seal bay exhibit if you want to check her out. Pretty good effort, isn't it, Bondi? <laughs> That's right, it is. Now, did you know you, I, and Bondi, we've all got something in common? Have a look at your hand. Now look at Bondi's flipper. In this flipper, he has the same bone structure that our hands have. Now, even though these flippers may make it look awkward for getting around on the land, an eared seal like Bondi can actually get around with quite a lot of ease. So let's see him go for a walk. Using his front and rear flippers underneath his body, he can make it anywhere, including make easy work of that wharf. Good job. Oh, look, look at a fish. Now it is in the water where we see how amazing those flippers really are. Good job, Bondi. Now the behaviour that Bondi was just showing you is something we call bowing or porpoising. It's a really energy efficient way for a seal to travel. And if you listen carefully, you'll notice that every time Bondi jumps out of the water, he's catching a quick breath of air. This really comes in handy when chasing down prey or getting away from predators. Speaking of predators, seals are an amazing predator of our ocean, but there is another one out there that's just as important. It does get a bit of a bad name, but again, it is really important for a healthy ocean. What are we talking about today, Bondi? Anyone think they know what that is? A shark, a terrifying shark in the water today, Bondi. <laughs> great job, buddy. Well done. Now, even though Bondi was giving you a great little shark impersonation, that's actually a natural behavior as well. You see, fur seals like Bondi, they're covered in two thick layers of fur, and their fur coats are so good at keeping their body heat in that it's only those naked, hairless flippers that allow their body heat to escape. Good job. So after a big meal or a hot day, they'll raise a flipper out of the water, catch a nice sea breeze and cool their whole body down. Now Bondi is a mature male, even though he's not that big, he did, does get up to around 120 kilos in the peak of his breeding season, and he's really, really strong as well. On his front two flippers, he can actually support his entire body weight. Peppa. Thank you very much, Bree and Bondi. Well, as Bree mentioned, I am joined out here by Peppa. Peppa 
is a 14-year-old Californian sea lion and he was born at a zoo in Holland. Today, Pepper's out here to show you all the life of a seal. Bye for now. 